Hey guys, Laburn 98 here, and welcome to episode 1 of My Favorite Levels. Basically what My Favorite Levels is going to be about, it's going to be a series of videos as I do them. You know, it's kind of like a side project of other videos. I want to provide more content. What these videos are going to be about is my favorite levels in games of my favorite overall games. So in this episode, it's going to be the Omaha Beach Landing and Medal of Honor Allied Assault. So let's take a listen. The Germans know we're coming, and coming soon, but we've got them thinking that the invasion will be at Calais, well north of the actual landing beaches. This will be the largest amphibious invasion in history, Lieutenant, and you're going to be in the group that's leading the charge. Now, we may have numbers on our side, but we don't have the experience. Most of our troops are fresh out of basic training, and they need true combat veterans like you to help lead the attack. That's why I've reassigned you to the 2nd Ranger Battalion. The landings will take place across five beaches, codenamed Gold, Juno, Sword, Omaha, and Utah. The British will land at Sword and Gold, the Canadians at Juno, and the Americans at Omaha and Utah. You'll be going ashore at Charlie Sector of Omaha Beach, just west of the Dog One exit. Although the beaches are not as fortified as they are at Calais, the Germans have left no spot undefended. Every inch of beach is covered by machine guns and artillery, and the place is surrounded by miles of barbed wire and countless minefields. One more thing, Lieutenant. Try to keep in mind that this is the largest and most complicated operation that we've ever attempted, and in my experience, whenever things get complicated, things go wrong. But no matter what happens, I believe that with soldiers like you leading the way, we will prevail with this Allied assault. Good luck at Omaha Beach, Lieutenant, and Godspeed. Well, that was the briefing of this particular level. It's Chapter 3, Omaha Beach Landing. Uh, this was, I believe, done on the original Medal of Honor for the PlayStation. Uh, this is the PC version, Allied Assault, and it was very much improved. It was actually done the a port slash because I think they added new things into the original game uh, was done by what we well at least what we did know of as Infinity Ward who are now a lot of the people anyway are Respawn Entertainment uh, this game was basically what influenced a lot of what we know today of, of the military shooter and uh, you know, Call of Duty being the big juggernaut that it is has a lot to thank, has a lot to owe actually to this game. Uh, this is what made this genre possible uh, or popular, rather. And uh, the overall experience, the epic experience, the uh, you know being right in there, uh, you know, it was just unheard of at the time. You know, Medal of Honor really uh, added a lot of that. To gaming, you know, at that time, you know, as far as shooters were concerned, you you had like Doom and and you know there wasn't a lot of really other games. Maybe Half Life was around that time, but I mean there was very few shooters that. I mean definitely there was very few shooters that took uh, a subject like World War Two, you know that is obviously you know real uh, and added so much authenticity to it. You know, you know, as far as a video game is concerned, I mean, obviously, it's, it's by no means realistic. Uh, but, you know, it, it brought that type of experience, that Hollywood kind of experience from, like, a Saving Private Ryan, which this, this particular sequence and the game as a whole really borrows from, uh, you know, to gaming. And, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, this was the level that I remember seeing on TV and and hearing all my friends, you know, rant and rave about because it was you know so awesome and so like, oh you gotta try this this level it's so you know, it's so crazy there's so many guys on this beach and you gotta hurry up and you gotta move forward and guns and guns are, and the shells are exploding everywhere and of course you know let's face it you look at it now it's not really much of a looker you know. And compared to what we have nowadays, 
where you know you have like Modern Warfare 3 where everything's blowing up Battlefield 3 everything's blowing up you know it's 10 times to the max you know Michael Bay type of explosions uh, so you know maybe for, for the young, my younger viewers younger subscribers and so on that uh, you know are looking at this and they don't really see what the big deal is but, but I mean this was very influential of a game to uh, to have these set piece type moments very scripted set pieces you know and and uh, uh, to, to provide a nice overall experience uh, but I uh, of course, you know, with the single player, and the single player was a big key for me uh, for this. This was also one of the first games, I think it was the first game uh, that I played by myself on my own computer online, uh, on PC. Well, uh, online at all, actually. I, I remember, I think it was Quake, Quake 2, maybe Quake, Quake 2, that I played at a friend's house on horrible, horrible, crappy internet, dial up internet. I think it was like 14.4k or 28.8k. It was really, really horrible. Uh, but uh, this was the first game again played on crappy internet. This time it was 56k. Uh, but even still, even with the crappy internet, I still had a blast playing this online. It was so much fun. It really uh, introduced me to this style of gameplay for online multiplayer. For uh, just the overall, overall gameplay. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the Doom type game. You know, like I wasn't into the whole uh, rock music blaring in the background and you're shooting monsters and guts are flying everywhere. And, and uh, you know, I wasn't really into that. I was more into the objective base. Uh, like I said in earlier videos, if you've watched them, GoldenEye was really uh, the game, the first person shooter game that really got me into first person shooters. And I think the reason was is that while it was by no means realistic, uh, it kept more of a realistic setting compared to Doom, for instance, or Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, this, however, really cemented my like for first-person shooters. It, it was really going into that that path of uh, you know realism as opposed to you know space shooters. Now, of course, uh, as I've gotten older, I've learned to experience other types of games and. and Surprisingly enough, I now like those Doom type games as well as these type of games. Uh, I love this particular area right here. Uh, again, ripped straight out of Saving Private Ryan, uh, including the whole sniper area where uh, Barry Pepper has to snipe uh, uh, the gun placements up here. And uh, uh, of course, these guys get wiped out. And then uh, he sends me uh, along the way with the sniper rifle which will be uh, coming up soon to be in the uh, that uh, pit right there uh, but yeah this like this whole sequence you know this brings back a lot of memories and and uh, what's funny about this is I I knew I was gonna do this one for the first episode and I because of that I actually uh, didn't practice this game I mean I just went in without even changing keybinds or anything like that uh, besides, I booted up the game once just to uh, change the resolution because this game, of course, being old, right, it doesn't support uh, widescreen out of the box. So uh, there is some tweaks you can do. I went online and found some tweaks that you can add uh, higher resolutions and widescreen resolutions. In this case, uh, it was recorded in 1080p. Uh, but, you know, uh, I basically went in this fresh because that's how I did did it when I originally played this and what's funny about this I played this particular game uh, I really got to experience at a radio shack of all places I remember because at that time I didn't have uh, a good enough or a computer actually I don't think I had a computer then uh, and I, I was thinking about getting a computer at that time I was saving up a lot of money you know mowing lawns and, and uh, helping people and the older people and stuff and just to scrounge up some money and uh, this was the game I think a lot of, a lot of reason why I did that too uh, to get a gaming computer was for this game and uh, you know going to that radio shack every time my every chance I had every chance I can get you know going to that radio shack playing this level and they always had this level for display uh, you can actually go through the whole game because people would I think uh, with everyone who played it, they probably end up beating it, so you could basically pick whatever level you want then. 
I used to love this this game. So when I when I got my gaming PC, this was one of the first games that I I bought, and I do not regret it one bit. It was actually a great game. Uh, of course, you know, being that it's an older game, it might not have aged as well, but I still enjoy playing it. I still have played it. Uh, you know, although to be fair, you know, I'm not going to completely lie and say, oh, you know, it's so awesome. Uh, I, I don't tend to complete it as much as, you know, uh, as newer games. Because, I mean, I, first of all, I've completed it uh, at least over a dozen times. And, uh, but some of the game mechanics, while it's a solid shooter, uh, you know, you get so used to using Sprint and and uh, so on that you know it's it's, it's hard really to uh, get into playing this all the way through uh, but it's still a blast to play I mean if you haven't played it by all means give it a shot uh, if you like Call of Duty and uh, well I, I should uh, refrain from really saying that if you like if you if you like or have played Call of Duty Call of Duty 2 and you haven't played this and uh, you don't mind going back to World War II, you'll like this. If you're into like maybe Modern Warfare 3, we're just fast-paced action, uh, where there's respawning health and and stuff like that. I don't know if you'll like this game. Give it a try. Uh, another game you might want to try too is Call of Duty. You can get on the Xbox Live Arcade if you like that game. Find this game out. Yeah, I think you can get the War Chest Edition, which has that plus all the expansions for like 10 bucks now. Uh, maybe you can get it on the Origin or whatever. Uh, definitely check it out. It's one of my favorite all-time games of all time. You know, I can't say that enough because it is. Uh, just love it. Uh, I will have some more, uh, some more of these videos with different levels of my favorite games. So definitely check that out. Until next time, this is LeBurn98 signing out. See you guys. Bye.